Hey y'all, so look, <clears throat> we're on episode 20 of Avatar the Last Airbender. You feel me? Let me see what this um, episode is called real quick. It is called The Siege of the North, part two. All right, cool. We rocking and rolling. You came for the reaction. Let's get into the reaction. I can't believe I lost him. You did lose him. And now we need to do everything we can to get him back. I mean, she was putting up a fight. <clears throat> we'll find it. Aang's gonna be fun. Okay. If you, like I said though, last episode, if you wake up, you whooping that ass. You feel me? Don't have him wake up. Is that the uncle? Oh no, that's not the uncle. Hello? I don't know why it would be I'm the uncle. Sorry to disturb you. I just really need to find the moon and the ocean spirits. Go away. <laughs> Who was you talking to? He, he, yeah, okay. If you fall, this is gonna be a, this is, wait. Aang might have to protect him. You feel me? Because we're about, okay, whatever. Let me be quiet. Shelter. He going through all this for his honor. He don't care about the avatar for real. Mm. <sighs> there is only one spirit I know of who is old enough. To remember who the spirit's name is Ko, but he is very dangerous. They call him the face stealer. When you speak with him, shapeshifter John, very careful to show no emotion at all, not the slightest expression, or he will steal your face. I don't like how that sound, my brother. We turn it back now. You're like my sister. Everything always came easy to her. She's a firebending prodigy, and everyone adores her. My father says she was born lucky. He says I was lucky to be born. I don't need luck, though. I don't want it. I've always had to struggle and fight, and that's made me strong. It's made me who I am. Yeah, he got the black American experience. No free trial. He just got the experience. I assure you, I have everything under control. I intend to remove the moon as a factor. Remove the moon? How? Admiral Choi! Prepare to meet your fate! Oh! As I was saying... What? Years ago, I stumbled upon a great and powerful secret. The identity of the moon spirit's mortal form. What? That was the dude supposed to marry UA. The spirit world looking a little cool, I ain't gonna lie. A little a little murky, a little a little gloom. Gloom and doom. You're just a curly tail blue nose. <gasps> he said I gotta get all my shit. You're not gonna steal my face. He's the 12 year old. He's gonna show some emotion and it's gonna be that much harder to get past this thing. Get out of there, brother. Jesus Christ. Welcome. I would have I would have been freaked out. I would have got my face stole. My old friend, the Avatar. It's been a long time. You know me? How could I forget you? One of your previous incarnations tried to slay me. Maybe eight or nine hundred years ago. I didn't know that. Merely eight or nine hundred years ago? Why should I hold a grudge against you for something in a past life? After all, you're a different person now. You've come to me with a new face. Guess we'll be here a while. You just, you better just pray he don't wake up. He has whooped you every single time, pretty much, that y'all have fought him. I ain't gonna lie. They'll get away in the blizzard. I'm worried that they won't. They're not gonna die in this blizzard. In the ocean. Their spirit names are Twee and La, Push and Pull. And that has been the nature of the relationship for all time. Please, help me find them. An entire culture could be destroyed if I don't get their help. 
Oh, you think you need their help? Actually, it's quite the other way around. Someone is going to kill them. What do you mean? This is the Get best 12-year-old ever, bruh. Can't they like just like disperse the ice for a moment and have them like fall into the ice and then cover it back up with more ice and so you can't get above the ice? But then again, they're firebenders, so I guess that would do like little to nothing. But it would like exhaust them a little bit. You know what I mean? I guess because like oh my god, I fell in the water. You know. Good riddance. Uh, I remember that, Panda. Oh no, where's my body? He say, nigga, you is over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, there's gotta be eggs. Yep, yep. Till you woke up, you're done. Water benders, Appa. Here for a rematch. Air, me, water, fire. Not gonna be much of a match. Yeah, she was heated that you had Aang, so I mean. We need to get to the oasis. The spirits are in trouble. Wait, we can't just leave him here. Facts. Let's go. Guess he helped the moon. To me, that's hard, I'm not gonna lie. That's a whole different genre, like. Are you okay? I feel faint, but I was born as if I were asleep, my eyes closed. Our healers did everything they could. They told my mother and father I was going to die. My father pleaded with the spirits to save me. That night, beneath the full moon, he brought me to the oasis and placed me in the pond. My dark hair turned white. I opened my eyes and began to cry. And they knew I would live. That's why my mother named me Yue. Don't call me Zhao the Conqueror. Zhao the Moon Slayer. Zhao the Invincible. Nigga think he's fake. Get it off. The lemur. I love the lemur. destiny to destroy the moon and the water he is right thou general Iro. why am i not surprised to discover your treachery <laughs> i'm a traitor thou the fire nation needs the moon too we all depend on the balance whatever you do to that spirit i'll unleash on you tenfold let it go now So he really did, he really just killed, you know what I mean? The moon and the the water. And then of course, of course, Brody gone, you feel me? There's no hope now. It's over. No, it's not over. Did he just turn into the fish? Did he just turn into the fish? You will die in the way. I don't think the fortune teller said you will die in a great battle. Or did she say that? I don't know. I think I said that.
He's wielding the ocean or the sea fish, you feel me? You're alive? You tried to have me killed! No! Oh yeah, he on that. Yes, I did. You're the blue spirit. And you could have lived. <laughs> It's too late. It's dead. You have been touched by the moon spirit. Some of its life is in you. Yes, you're right. It gave she, me life. She talk about sacrifice. Maybe. Did we get the moon back though? Did we get the moon back? She's gone. She's gone. No, he's like 13 and 14 experiencing a dead um significant other. <laughs> or would be significant other. He's still going band for band. It can't be. I don't even think Aang is like the one controlling the fish right now. I've decided to go to the South Pole. Some other benders and healers want to join me. It's time we help rebuild our sister tribe. What about Aang? He still needs to learn waterbending. Well, then he better get used to calling you Master Katara. Mmm. The spirits gave me a vision when Yue was born. I saw a beautiful, brave young woman become the moon spirit. I knew this day would come. You must be proud. So proud. And sad. A man needs his rest. That's facts. You too, Momo. Come here. Jesus Christ. Let's see what's really going on, though, with this other stuff. Oh, yeah, so at the start of this episode, bro, they was, like, really, like, going crazy and, like, like still trying to seize the North. You feel me? The North wasn't going, though. You feel me? I even came up with my own plan. I was, like, open up the ice, let them fall on the ice, and then they're going to have to just use their firebending powers to get out the ice, and then they're going to be exhausted a little bit. But we still gonna be good. And you know, feel me? Nobody did my plan, but it's okay. This whole episode, pretty much, Aang was in the spirit realm. And the spirit realm seems very, like, I'm looking at it even right now on my screen. The spirit realm seems very, like, murky and, like, gloomy and, like, oh, yeah, mysterious. Mm, you know? And that is. Scary is crap because of the 
the place. I think this is like a Japanese cartoon or whatever. I don't know. But it's the spirit realm. And I know like in Japan or whatever, I don't know. They have like a lot of like spiritual beings and deities and stuff like that, if I'm correct. So that made this spirit realm thing, to me at least, feel way more mysterious than if I was just like naturally Japanese or something like that. <laughs> LOL. Let me see. I'll be like, like what, bro? But like I said, okay, so Zuko takes Aang. Wham, we in the tunnels with it. Not really in the tunnels, but we in like the igloo, John. You feel me? We, we trying to get some shelter. <laughs> you feel me? There's a whole freaking snowstorm going on outside. And I'm constantly over and over like, bro, he wake up. It's over with. As simple as that. Bro, ain't even he woke up, but bro, ain't even have to wake up. You feel me? Katara is such a legend right now. So developed as far as her powers goes. So freaking awesome. That she just able to take out Zuko. You remember when she first tried to take out Zuko? And she got, got captured. I think she got captured or something like really quickly. But it was a lot of them. But she still got captured. And it was just like, bro. But now she got taught by a water master. She cooking up like very easily. Like she's really good at whatever she's doing. Alright, let's see. The whole faces dude. Let's go back to um, the spirit realm now. The whole face dude who like take all the faces. Oh my God, you know, whoa, brother, dude. You know, that person, I would have got my face took. Would you have got your face stolen? <laughs> stolen is crazy. Stolen? Huh? Comment down below. Anyways, he was talking about his sister this episode. You feel me? And then by the end of the episode, Zuko was talking about his sister, and then by the end of the episode, we see his sister. She got the eyebrows. She looked like dumb evil. You feel me? And it makes you want to see their father because he like he's the originator of the evil children. You feel me, Zuko? You feel me? He's rejected by he's he pretty much been rejected by the father for a cool minute. You know, the sister might have a lot of the father's traits. I'm I'm about to uh, I'm excited to see what the sister has to offer for the show for sure for sure. She's going to be so freaking evil. I'm predicting it now, but who knows? Yo, they really tried to siege. I said siege. Tried to steal the North, you know? I'm looking at all the ships, the tanks, the people. And it, it was getting crazy. Things got crazy. We started diving into the realm of um, the yin and yang, the, the moon and the seas, you know? You know? We really had to go. We really had, we really had to go there. This episode, for sure, for sure. The guy who was going to marry UA, who was engaged to UA, he shows up on the ship to take out the Admiral. And he gets thrown the crap off. He, I said the crap off. He gets thrown off expeditiously. Like he had, like it was just, it was, there was no contest, you know? He was like, as I was saying, and he started talking about the, um, started talking back to Uncle Iroh. Let's see. I could have sworn that 12-year-old Aang was going to get his face stolen as well. But then it's like, for plot, it's like, how would you... Are the writers really ready to take it there? You feel me? Because it wouldn't make sense. Because then it's like, well, where's our main character? You know? Like, what are we going to do to get it back? And da 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 <sighs> As far as him seceding, he's, he's literally like the strongest 12-year-old I've seen in a cartoon ever. Simple as that. That's just what it is. Wait for a second. I did watch Boondocks, so I'm going to say... Um, people always say Huey, but I'll say Riley. That's the crazy part. Riley is the strongest 12-year-old, and he's probably like younger than that, so it's whatever. All right. The fact that... This is a small part, but the fact that Sokka picked up on the fact that He's Zuko is not gonna let Aang or Zuko himself like drown in this snowstorm. Like it's not happening. You feel me? Whatsoever. And I like that. You feel me? Pick up on that, John. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. You know how you know how Zuko rock. You not letting none of that slide. Let's see. All these tanks, all these little electronic Johns. So Aang wakes up. 
Katara whoops Zuko ass. And then Aang say, nah, he's still like a little kid like us. You feel me? I'm going to save him. You feel me? He ain't all the way. You feel me? We can still talk. You feel me? Da, da, da. So I'm going to save him. See what happens. All right, cool. Um, Zuko is saved from a snowstorm. Um, the Admirable Shao. I don't know. I think it, I don't even know his, his actual name, but I'm going to say Admirable. The Admirable ends up killing the moon fish. You feel me? Complete takes it out. Now the moon goes from illuminating the natural colors of the world to all red. You feel me? Boom. Something's wrong. You know? Something's wrong. We got to get this shit back on track. All right. Cool. Little did we know that UA, at birth, she was like, I think she was like stillborn or something like that. But, hey, she got put in the moon. She got put in the pond, or rather, and then wham, I cool, brought her back to life. So now you got a piece of the moon within you, even though the moon technically died. What she ended up doing? We're going we gonna to see real quick. She ends up mm, sacrificing herself in an exchange pact between the moon and her. You feel me? You see, so she was dead at first when she was first born. Bam, dead drum. The moon saves her life. Wham, there you go. There your baby. All right, cool. She turns like 15, if I'm correct, because that's like the marriage, the marriage age or the engagement age. Bam, bam, bam. All right, cool. The moon dies this time. She, all right, cool. Let's swap out, type drug. <laughs> Let's swap out. All right. And for, I don't think that, I don't know, like now that we're, I think the audience of the Avatar, the last airbender is older now. So they probably going to be like, wow, how did Sokka deal with this situation? The possible love of his life, you know, or this, the possible sweetheart just died in his arms. <laughs> you feel me? And it's like, wouldn't that be traumatizing? Even like growing up, wouldn't that just be traumatized? That would be a moment of traumatization. And so that's how I felt. I was like, Dang, boy, he's like what all of fifteen himself. <laughs> you feel me? And he's like, he's like all of fifteen, fourteen himself experiencing this. It's crazy. That's absolutely insane. That's probably the only girl that's gonna ever like him. You know what I mean? It's Sokka. Uh. All right, cool. The moment that UA gives up her life, the moon comes back ten times full, starts illuminating brightly. The natural colors of the universe. Okay, cool. The Admirable's like, what the hell's going on? I thought I took that drawing out. What's going on? What's going on? Here's what happens. You feel me? Now he's back to fighting. Ugh, ugh. You feel me? At this point, he's fighting Zuko. Zuko said, I want my wands. You tried to kill me. Admirable was like, I did try to kill you. What's up? You feel me? They going band for band. Ah, ah, ah. I put out my 2000. Bam, bam. I put out a rack. Bam, bam. It's not happening. Okay, cool. The moon comes back. They're both like, okay, cool. By this time, Aang has taken over the sea spirit, done his big one, took out a lot of the fire force, and then um, dissipated the sea spirit. So he's no longer the sea spirit. Okay, cool. The sea spirit ends up revitalizing itself. Just to take out the admirable. He said, nigga, you gotta go. You feel me? Anyways. Let's see if that's that that's all. That's it, that's all, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, and then yeah, by the end, I mean we just Yeah, by the end, you feel me? The talk with Zuko and the Pops. Not Zuko, the pop the talk with Sokka and UA's pops about like the UA's pops already saw this coming. You know what I mean? He already knew what was up. He ain't say nothing, but he already knew what was going down. And I think right now, let's talk about Uncle Iroh and let's talk about Zuko. Right now, Zuko's like, okay, cool. I would have been dead, you feel me? A couple times if it wasn't for Aang, by Aang, and a whole bunch of else. You feel me? So I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Some things are just like, it's not worth it. This whole honor thing, this is a cultural 
this is a society problem. This is not like a, I, I guess we could say cultural. This is a cultural issue. You feel me? This is not a me issue. You feel me? I'm chilling. I want to like help my, you feel me, pops with his plans and be like, or just like guide him in like a better direction. How you just going to take out a battalion just because, yeah, you know I mean, like that's crazy. But then he going he gonna to do this to me and then. Now I got to fight for my honor back, all type of weird shit. You know what I mean? I'm done. It's over with. It's wraps. So I think Zuko is chilling for sure, for sure. The uncle see that he's done. It's over with. Now this is definitely a piece of the puzzle where we get starts to get Zuko's sister. I have no clue what her name is, but Zuko's sister, come and, some, come and fuck some shit up. You feel me? Because the show is very copacetic right now, and I want to see some more drama. All right? This was a great episode. 10 out of 10 episode. If you like this uh content then subscribe if you like the reactions hit the notification bell keep them turned on because i stacked up a lot of avatar reactions and they're gonna be coming to you very soon follow me on instagram at ft period dio you feel me featuring dio you feel me and that's it deuces trope squad